Our question today comes to us from one of our Bible studies here at Crozet United Methodist Church, and it was the, during their study of Matthew in chapter 3, verses 16 through 17, and the question is, when Jesus was baptized and that dove descended on him, who heard God's comment that said, this is my son? So what is going on there? Let's, let's look at that verse. That verse, or verses, actually, 3, 16 through 17, say this. And when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. And then immediately Jesus is going to go out into the wilderness for his fasting and then his uh, temptation and questioning. So let's talk about this. Now again... Anything that happens in the gospel accounts does not happen in isolation, especially in the three synoptics, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And so it's very helpful for us, especially in these paramount moments like the baptism of Jesus, to look across the gospel accounts. So what I have for you is the baptism of Jesus in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So again, Matthew 3. 6 through 17, it says to him, the heavens were open to him. So it's quite possible that according to the, to the gospel account of Matthew, only Jesus encounters this opening of the heavens, the dove descending, and the voice of edification. Um, it's quite possible it's only to him. So this would be consistent with what we get in Mark chapter 1, verses 10 through 11. And you'll notice Matthew doesn't have the baptism until chapter 3. Mark has it almost immediately in chapter 1 because there's no birth narrative in Mark. So Mark has Jesus emerging onto the scene at the age of 30, immediately being baptized and going into his time of trial and temptation. So Mark chapter 1, verses 10 through 11, are going to echo exactly, well, actually, they don't echo. Matthew is echoing Mark. Mark is older. So Mark is going to say, he saw on him. So again, this makes it appear as only Jesus was aware of and received the vision and the auditory words of God that say, this is my son and on whom I'm well pleased. And then in the gospel account of Luke, we get a little bit of a broadening. Now, the gospel account of Luke is definitely geared to expanding the gospel. It's not just for the children of Israel. It's not just for the Jews. It is for all people. And so we should not be uh, on, uh, we should not be surprised that in the gospel account of Luke chapter 3 verses 21 through 23 it talks about the people and to be very concise in that what we get here is it says that people were present and being baptized then Jesus arrives Jesus is baptized and then after he is baptized it says the heavens were open so it implies that people others were present and so therefore they too got to see and hear the testimony that comes from the heavens about who Jesus is. So even though the voice in Luke speaks directly to Jesus, people were there to offer their witness that they saw and heard this. What's really intriguing is when we got, get to the gospel account of John. So chapter 1, verses 31 through 34. And again, Luke and Matthew are not going to have this baptism happen until chapter 3. Both Luke and Matthew have birth narratives. So we shouldn't be surprised that it takes a couple chapters to get to Jesus being baptized at the age of 30. John, much like the gospel account of Mark, has Jesus already as an adult. John, of course, is going to go further back before the creation to talk about in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God when referring to Jesus, to Christ. So when we get to John chapter 1 verses 31 through 34, what we actually have is the testimony of John the Baptist. I want to remind you that the gospel account of John is believed to be from one of the apostles and not John the Baptist. But John the Baptist offers his testimony, what he saw and what he heard when he was baptizing Jesus. So only in the gospel account of Luke do others seem to be able to witness and testify to this opening of the skies and the proclamation of the divine voice, which we get consistently in Mark and Matthew. And it happens in John, but John the Baptist is the one that's offering, this happened to Jesus when I baptized him. And so why is that important? Well, it's important because 
Who, who got to hear it? And how do we know? Is it because Jesus shared this with his apostles? Is it because the Holy Spirit enlightened them? We don't have concrete answers to that, which means that this is an opportunity for you to read these citations in the text and see what you think. And it's quite possible that one of the reasons that we have these testimonies is because other people were included and were able to see it. But ultimately, what was most important across all Four gospel accounts is that even the heavens opened that day and declared quite clearly that Jesus is the Son of God and that God is very pleased to have that be true. So we hope this helps you kind of expand your understanding of baptism. And of course, this is why in the United Methodist Church and many other Christian denominations, we baptize because Jesus did it in all four of our gospel accounts. It's a great question. Thank you so much. Thank you.